best seats in the house and the millions watching at home and online and people all over the stands. Welcome to Sun Gravel Football Friday Night Lights. Bobby Jones here along with Joseph Cooper and Bill Crowtree. We're looking to kick this day off here as we endure in North Carolina when the Vikings facing Sutton Dawn. It was, a, it was a, one of must be a great games ever. Good game. One of them going to be good games ever here in high school. Sock level. Three in a row in this season. Three wins and two losses this season. To all of our sports fans, I know that in the past we've had a normal situation where we stand over by the concession stand, but we would like as many of our fans as possible to come up in the bleachers and have a seat. It cuts down on a lot of confusion for us, and that way we can all ensure that we have a great night tonight. So all fans, if you could, either come sit in the bleachers, and I see our alumni team up there on the hill on the practice field, so you may want we got to socialize as well. We see the kick. Here. This is a soccer football on the ball. Throw time on the wall here this season. As soccer will face Sutton Dawn. That's here tonight. And the kick is on the way. And we're on the way here. In the first quarter. That's a one. Sutton has. Now Sutton Dawn now. Two wins and four losses this season. Looking to have this game continue. One and one in the conference here tonight. The ball is spot here on the 40 low line. First and ten. The Spartans had the ball last week on September 22nd. They're beating JFL 51 to 8. Now looking to have that dream. It looks like they were hurt for the second win of the ball and the pass is caught by the May. It's on the 50. And it's still first down. That ball was caught by Amir Hall. And now it'll be a Spartan first down. Spartan first down on the 50. The Spartans who had the ball right now. Number 10. Back to the pass. Ball is incomplete. Here's a look at the start on the inside. Thomas TJ Hart, number one. Number two, Justin Bakersville. Number five, Christopher Boston. Six, Jordan Glover. Set three, Merlin. Number seven, number eight, Jordan McCool, the quarterback. And number ten, Kevin Freeman. We're going to see those in a minute. It's second down with one, with 11 20 to go in the first quarter. The pass is caught. And it's going to be pass number 12. And it's still our first down Spartans. Now we're looking up on number 12. Now we're looking at still on the Washington number 12. The quarterback, Tyson Borway, the freshman. Number 14, Jonathan Dillon. Number 15, Walt Wiggins, Cleveland. Number 17, Tyler T.J. Richman. Number 18, Ellen Hahn. And we'll look at all those rosters here. We're not going to be able to count for sure. As we look. And it's still for. Now the flag is on the play. It's outside side gravel. Oh, it's a false start. It's on the Spartans. That call will be against Southern Durham. Sutton Durham right now. Had a great had a fresh start here in the first quarter. So it's first down and seven. I mean first and ten. Sorry about that. Number 20 on the handoff. Number 20. Goes nowhere. And he's all over the defenders. And it's a... It's a tackle for a loss right now. 
So now second down. Second down, Southern. And well, anyway, they just got got everything going on. Spotted on about the 48 yard line. So now it is what it is, and you're gonna have to do this and do that. So now it's it's everything going on here. Second down and long. Number 12 with the draw and the catch is complete. Number 14. Jonathan Dillon. Jonathan Dillon. Jonathan Dillon who had the ball. Third down with about four yards to go for Southern Durham. Throw down four with four yards to go. The game is now. Zero zero is they don't have Scarlet. Hit the throw again and the pass is still complete. And it's gonna be a first down Spartans. It's called by number fourteen. He runs down to about maybe the fifteen yard line. So he didn't make a he made that man first down. Now the Spartans who have to he's gotta do anything. Everything that's gonna happen now now. Now they're going into the whole other thing here, Bill. Sure it is, and now it's, it's not as far as down. Now they're on the way of the soccer and territory. And number 22 the middle for the carry. 22 with now on the carry. And once again, they're still hard up. Second and four. Coming out. Number 22 carries the ball once more. 22 carries the ball and it's once more. And it's uh, another first down. That's third down with about a yard to go. Second and one. Do I know why? That's number 22 on the carry. So I'm trying to turn that carry. With the game. Which appears to be first down for a Spartan Durham. And Spartans can turn up on turn. And they're still not getting into it. Second down. Something done. Now the. Now the quarterback is going to go to the end zone, and it's a touchdown, Spartans. Number 85, Yelisa Orozco back for the extra point attempt. And it's good. It's good. The score is now 7-0. With 8 minutes and 20 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. There's a call on the play. Number 85. Okay, sorry, the field goal is no good. So the score is 6-0 to zero with about 8 minutes and 20 seconds left to go in the first quarter.
That tackle is made by number six, Jordan Glover. South Granville will take over with the ball on the 30-yard line. First down, South Granville. Spartans, which brings it to a second down for South Granville. Christopher Watson, which makes it second down, or third down, with about 10 yards to go for South Granville. Number seven, Benjamin Mitt Mittman is back for the to receive the punt. Seems like there was a flag on the play, and it went against Southern Durham which still makes it fourth down for South Granville. Benjamin Mitten is still back to, to receive the point. Scramble down to about the 48-yard line, and that would be first down for Southern Durham. First down for Southern Durham. Watson Chan ball on the 47 law line, soft gravel down by six as number 12 with the Cats and number 18, number 14. Jonathan Dillon back for the pass, the ball is complete. Number 80. That's number 10. Logan Scott for a gain of about two yards. Second down, Southern Durham. All right, second down, Southern Durham. Southern looking to win their fourth straight in the war. Fourth straight since they went home against Carball, 41-0. That was on homecoming night last week. And the pass is complete. Pass is the pass is incomplete. Third down, Nice. Southern. Tip by the Vikings and still down and seven. 
Number 14, the quarterback is here to try to make do the do the pass. But the defenders did their job, they got in the way. And the defenders, they are looking, they were trying to get this quarterback, so they are going to stop them. They're going to try to stop them for doing it now. Throw it in eight, coming up here. Number 10, with the draw, the pass is complete. And it's complete, it's continuing Jay McKee, and it's now first down Spartans. Spartans had a... Uh, it's going to have to do... And that will be a Spartan yeah. first down. So they're taking, uh, taking a look at Tyson, and I believe it's uh, Sutton Jones' homecoming night. Uh, Jenny McKean, getting a five. Coast Hawker is looking, the, the coast of the Soccer River Vikings. That's Coast 19 season. It's 19 season. And second down and seven. Here comes the run and a return to the ball. Why is the Spartans come from? They were look like they were doing this and all the stuff that came that just like this and that. Now the Spartans they are all they are all that is just Cool to be if so if we had a home with the courts. The Spartans lead sets zero. Here comes the one right once again. Here comes the That's number twenty on that big one. For a gain of maybe about nine yards, which makes it second down, Southern Durham. Southern Durham gets the in on uh, try, uh close. The Reds are on the Vikings territory. They're on the Sonic Gravel territory right now. So it's second down, the draw, the pass is incomplete. Pass is incomplete. Third down, Southern. Now make it throw in two. With 421 to play in the first quarter. As a whistle blow, it might be the false start outside. And it's against Sonic River, it's against the defense, and so now it's first down Spartans. Boy, that's it, right? You were so close. And then you are just continuing, you are very close. Uh, let them snap the ball, it's a nice first down coming up. The Spartans who had a bar for some tender up by six nothing and now the one. That one goes up. That one pick up. Cover the loss. Who lost? Quarterback, look at the draw. Now he's gonna want it. On that scramble. The
Now we we'll, yeah, we had a timeout taken by the Spartans. And we're going to have a timeout coming up. Timeout coming when we come back. The Spartans will come back out on the field with third down with about five yards to go. Four first. They first try to do that job as after the commotion, the place resumes and sets zero. And the quarterback, number eight, the draw, and it's incomplete. So they're going to go for it or they're going to take the field goal? I just let them take the field goal, that's what I do. So now they're going to go for here. Yeah. Throw four and four on the rain zone on the Vikings territory. Corbett will have to draw. Number eight. Number eight. He's going to draw it. And it's incomplete. Oh, it's incomplete. And the defense holds and the Vikings yeah, taking over. Three minutes and one second left to go. Three minutes and one second left to go. Flag is down on the play. Flag is down on the play, yeah. That's offside, South Grandville. First at 10, after South Grandma who messed up in that play, it had been, after a flag or something, it had been a couple of times that it has been. So that's the look of the one here. And Cameron Dennison, who looks like he was about to cut, talking has made by number. So I probably who had that pass on the behavior, so it's second and twelve. The Spartans who had the ball, who they had throw the incomplete pass here in the fourth quarter, just a few months ago, and their defense holds. And now Soccer will be at the ball. Tackle is made again by number 20, Jerry McKean. Jerry McKean, but. So our Granville <coughs> gets a bad loss, it's now third and four now. Third 
Can we fall? And a loss may be enough for the first down. And it's going to be first down Sock Gravel now. Sock Gravel first, first down the drive. To keep the drive alive. Kameer Brown, who had the one. Cameron Dennison, who had a long drive here last week against the, the Carpo Jaguars. And that's going to continue with 25 seconds left until the end of the first quarter. Oh, it's fumbled by the I'm missing, but number six. number six, he had to make the pass, and so now the pass, so now this, the ball is lost at ends, but the rank is still recovered. So the second down with no time left on the clock in the first quarter, and now Sutton Dawn is on the missing. Sutton Grant will need to make something happen as the score is now. 76 Spartans. You're watching the Sock Rumble Football Friday Night Lights on the NFHS Network. Welcome back to the second quarter. We'll go back to the Welcome back to the game. We're starting the second quarter right now with the score sets nothing. Spartans. Sock Rumble has the ball now. Second and ten. Second and sixteen. That's the one. That tackle is made. That tackle is made. Maybe about six yards, which makes it third down with about eight yards to go. It's on Cranville. Sam Cranville, who struggling. They had a nice loss, but now it's still down and eight. And look at and look at all the defense defenders on the sudden dawn now. They are putting the pressure on and they got in our uh, hills. And that's gonna make it fourth down coming up and the Vikings will have to pop. The defense on the action in the movie to go to stop them doing out. So now, fourth down, four to five lives. <coughs> All they have to do is get everything in turn. What is happening right now, the defense can turn. It looks like the Vikings are going to go for it right here. Sonic is gonna go for it right here. If they don't if they don't go and move with the chance, the defense holds. And that's gonna be And they stopping, so right now the defense holds and that's gonna be Spartan Spark. Spartan's gonna take over. And once again, I wanna take the time out. To recognize Coach Jones and the 2013 three double A state champions, they're here with us tonight. So guys, let's give them a round of. I'm not sure that they're continuing to answer what's happening here. Though. I mean, they'll look like they will go and go for it. Why not punt? Why not punt in the ball? So soccer over down by six. First and ten. The quarterback will kill the draw. And it's incomplete. The bar is incomplete. Looks like the quarterback he didn't. Just a too hard and just a little too much. But now he throws the bar and the part of the pass is incomplete. Second and ten. 
bar on the day four. Second down, Spartans. That's the job. And eight, two of the with it, John McCall. With the pass, it is complete to number 18, Amir Hall. Seems like a gain of maybe about five yards. Third down with about four yards to go for Southern Durham. Going four coming up. And the pass is complete. And it's the first down Spartans. Boy, I tell you, if that, if that were to go oh, to that one, the, I, I'm not sure they can change. If the pass is just complete in the back there. And there's nothing I can do about it. Nothing you can do about it for now. But just like this, it is what it is. Ball is handed off to number 25. Let's hand up at number 25 in second and four. Now they're looking for the no, they're looking for the no horn here. And he goes down. Throw it down. That's the draw. Dorian Dree, the quarterback, with the throw, and it's incomplete. And it's a flag. And I believe it's going to be on Sock Gravel. Seems like the ball may have been caught by number 10, Kevin Farmer. And it's against the Vikings. And that call is against South Granville. Which makes it first that would be. for Southern Durham. And that is a costly mistake. That's going to cost the Vikings, and maybe they're giving up a touchdown. And then it's going to go, the quarterback's going to go for it, and he's going to make the ends on touchdown, as the Spartans had that full second touchdown on the night. So I'm going to give up a touchdown for the second time tonight. And that's number 14, Mr. Number 14, Jonathan Dillon, who made the quarterback the keyboard in. The Spartans had the touchdown, it's 12 0. This point makes the score 12 0. Boy, nothing's not going to wipe. <laughs> Something is still had a lot of time to recover, though. And the quarterback gets in now. It's, it's a two point conversion. It's good. Make it 14 0. Sutton Dawn has scored for the two point conversion. And he has a point. And the two point conversion is good. But the flag is on the play. It's against Sutton Dawn. So, take it back. Still 12 0. And maybe it will be, uh, they need to get the, they need to have it. That's a point here. They're going to try once again for the two point conversion. 
Yeah, definitely, definitely the Mexican team, but definitely not. So hopefully it's not a two point conversion. Time I take it by Sutton Dorn. Sutton Dorn, who. I mean, if we join this, if we were watching this game right now, Joseph Cook, Betty Bill Crabtree, I'm Joseph, i um, Bobby Jones. We'd like to watch you to this game right now against the Spartans and the Vikings on the Soccer River Football yeah, Friday Night Lights. Start. Starting right now. We are still online. It's easy to do. And we obviously know, but uh, obviously now I, I, I like this football game. I like the power and the part of the soccer level family. And I am very a part of the soccer level team and the sport. And now you get the card games here on soccer level football Friday Night Lights. Congratulations, Bill. So it's 12 0. Sutton Down will try the game for the two point conversion. They're not going to have a. They're not going to catch the extra point. They're looking to the two point conversion. And it looks like the two point conversion fails. Yes, uh, number 18. All the way coming up short. So now it's 12 nothing. Shot and dawn with eight minutes in the second quarter. Twelve zero Spartans. They're never down in this quarter. They are. Uh, Never turned the ball over this half. First half. First quarter and second quarter. And the Vikings still got to turn, but they got a chance. They're going to get a chance to take care of it. And it's a nice stop for the kickoff team. And Sock will take over. At around the 30 yard line. Now the offense kind of played aggressive here, Bill. Now they do, they're just uh, getting, getting, they're not getting, they're not getting, they're not keeping the ball going. They already got a first down here on this drive. They had a, a great drive. They had a good drive. But they got to keep this up. You're losing. It's corner cool. we started this night, and this time, the defense all over the pass. Second down coming up. And it's another tackle by. Ooh, that was a big tackle, big tackle. By number five. By number five. Chris Watson can turn, and that's going to make it throw down. Absolutely, honey, absolutely. That is just a little bit. It's going to turn out mm -hmm, to. Mm -hmm. And that. And that mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but this time it's just a little bit. Well, either way. Sutton Dawn did everything they could and they're doing it for good here. So now it's going to be throw down coming up. Five and a half minutes here in the second quarter. And Corley with the quarterback. He's going to draw. And 
It's incomplete. Which makes it fourth down, South Grandview. Fourth down coming up here. Vikings are still losing here in the second quarter. It's just like it is what it is. This is all about everybody's game right now. Here comes the best look out. Absolutely disaster for the Vikings as the defense holds and now it was about to get the punt, so now the Spartans are taking over. First down, Spartans taking over. And start all the way back there on territory is also. That starts with five sixteen to play. Second time they lost on the road against Green Lever and Sutton Nash. And now the ball is brought in at the second down Sutton Doran out here. We would like to thank all of you for coming out tonight, and please continue to enjoy yourself. Second and 15, coming up. Looks like they were not doing it as a pawn. They're going to be down by as well for the blowout. Here comes the draw, and the pass is incomplete. That makes it throw it down, coming up here. Which makes it third down with about 14 yards to go. <coughs> down. 14 lines to go on here. I'll bet we're going, we're going to have some everything that goes up in a while. Third and 15. Here comes the blitz. The quarterback looking. Now he's taking still on his feet. He looks to throw. And uh, it's an incomplete pass. Number 12 was on the scramble. Tyson Broadway. Well, it looks like it's, it's, it appears to be complete. And it's now. I'm not sure. Fourth down, five yards to go. And they're going to go for it again. The quarterback look at the throw. No, he's going to scramble. Now he's going to keep the ball. He's going to throw it to the other uh, man. And it's a touchdown. Is that a touchdown or what? Oh, he throws the ball down and... So maybe about the two yard line. Man, the two long lines is behind the end zone. It's first and two. First and two. And it's a touchdown. Touchdown, Southern Dawn. Southern Dawn had a touchdown, and that's 18 to 0. 18 0. And South Grandma is going to. Had delivered it. South Carolina had given up another touchdown. Do touchdown tonight, and it's 18-0. South Carolina had lost more in the confidence. Yeah, I think these fans are going to have a mile ahead. 
And that's gonna make it 20 to 0. As the quarterback is gets into a TJ. TJ with the air support is 20 to 0. The Spartans, the Vikings are down. They're down by 20 with 358 and a half. Twenty to zero, Spartans. I mean, they just got in control. The Sacramento got to make something happen. They are down by zero point. They were down by twenty. And now here we are here in the second quarter. Now let's see what happens. And. Sakaba will take over. There's a flag on the play. Black in the bag. It's going to be against the Vikings. What are we ever going to get? I mean, that was a little... It was a block in the back. Referee caught it. Fistles caught it. What can Sakura can do here in this in the last three fifty one minutes? Friday soccer will on the world again defense defense county and soccer was still going nowhere I mean, we have, this is nothing that, there's nothing that the offense can do. Nothing that the offense can do, just not looking right, and it's not looking good at all. It's just got to stop it, and it just is what it is right now. And something Dory is doing an incredible job of putting pressure on the offense, and they're, they're doing their work. Absolutely, they do their work for real, for sure. Like, doing the Dory work. But now it's just, I mean, I, 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 I really don't blame Sutton, Sutton Dawn and the defense. They play some great, great football. Last week they beat Webb 51-8. to Spartans had a good football team. Here's Dawn down. That's a draw and... That's going to be four down. Same complete pass. Uh -huh, for everything. That goes for everything that goes just a little bit. Of, huh? So now, for down, and there it goes. It looks like number one time is going to take over. That's a block. Somebody needs to call that in the flag right now. And it goes. That's going to make another flag on the play. Here we go. 
Sometimes you get frustrated, you lose, and that's why you lose the game. That was a nasty hit. It was a physical hit. Card, please come up to the press box to retain that. Miss Tiffany Van Hook, if you lost your debit card, please. Oh come my up goodness. To the press box. Thank you. That was a clean hit. Gotta make sure that he was all gotta make sure the Viking player was okay though. And he took a good incredible hit for the for the inside of the field. That's kinda hard. He might have a concussion or something like you you may have a con I tell you what, Joe I tell you what, Bobby, you may have a concussion or you may have something like that that is happening right here and that is what happened. You can't do this in this football field. Can't do this. Yeah, absolutely. The player was down, and that's exactly what happened. So after that penalty, a couple of penalties here, and the player is still down. The Viking player is still down. We're going to take a break and be right back here in Dawn. Unfortunately, it, well, we're not going to be taking a break. Once again, the score is now 20 to 0. Sutton Dawn has the ball. And it's going to be all the way back. All the way back. And Vikings have the bats, bats against the ball. But they're down by 20 with 151 left here. That's the play that we have in start, so anyway. That's that's caution the spot is a penalty. And I'll blame the officials. Get credit for the officials for doing it. So now it's first and ten ball and with one affected to go. The draw for the quarterback. And. Our story is incomplete by number 10. For a gain of about five yards. And that makes it second down and five to go for Southern Down. So second down and five coming up. That's the drill for the quarterback. And the pass is complete by number three. He's going to go all the way for the touchdown. It was an 8 yard touchdown for Spartans. And this, and that, and that, and uh, they plead for more seeing it's a 80 yard touchdown for the Spartans. 26 to 0 our score with 1 on 4 remaining until this game's the second half is coming to the close. And the Vikings will start to break down. Number 85 is a back with extra point attempt. 26 to 0. And that the extra point is not good. Man, the, the four seconds left to go to score this one. The sudden dawn, 20 oh, the Vikings are down by 26. Twenty-six to zero. Sutton Dawn in control right now. Had a confident lead here. 
the kick is on his way, it's on the turn, down it's on the dirty. Tank is way back. Number 34. First down, South Grandville. The Sock Rebel Football Friday Night Lights is sponsored by Bojangles. It's bow time. Sock Rebel, not in a great place. Twenty seconds left here in the second. That's a fun ball. Right now, it's on. Right now, it's on. That's kind of hard. So that is. Absolutely, I mean, you gotta get credit for this team. I mean, that all just will be, they play really well. But right now, you gotta start this right now. That's what happened. Quarterback will once again that try. Oh, it's incomplete. So it's eight seconds left to go here until halftime. Now it comes with no draw. And number eight is. And pass is incomplete. So it's three seconds here. I don't know if how you're going to send a stand or not, but this team is losing. Soccer of a team is losing. Remains just for dinner by the way, it all goes down, but now it is pretty this. Southern Durham. Once again, to all of our alumni, I want to send a special shout out to the class of 2007. Thank you for coming out to support our young people tonight. You just never know what your support means to us. Start on on Tuesday the soccer club of Vitavar at home taking on JF Rail. Shout out to the class of 2003. Thank you for your support. Please come back and see that will be this Tuesday on the 5th of October. To the class of 2003, to the class of 2007. Thank you for your support. The Spartans had the ball now, 26 to 0. Soccer were down by 0. Soccer had no points on the ball at all. There's a throw, and the catch is incomplete. That will end the second quarter. And that is the first half with the score. That is the end of the first half. 
for the score. Sutton Dawn in business to put Cyclever down on ice. 26 to 0. Second half coming up. Second half is on its way. Dog Poor is on its on the rise as we get ready to quarter number three. The Vikings are down 26 to 0 as we as they are not getting too much help. They're not getting any help here in the first half. Giving up four touchdowns here in the quarter. Now the fumble has called. The Vikings have recovered it. Uh, it's a big start here, and, uh, and now the Vikings are taking over at a uh, uh, very slow start here in the first half, and it could be a slow start here in the second half, but I think the Vikings going to, hopefully, they're going <coughs> to go to the air a little bit, hopefully, I'm sure that this will Trey Lucas, Norris McLeary, and Amani Owens for our coaching staff. We have other positions I'll call out soon. And yeah. stop is made by a stop has made by a number by all the defenders of Sutton Dawn. Sutton Dawn had had this one. <coughs> That's terrible. They didn't play offense and need to get help, so they didn't get some help. They didn't get the bell up. They rebelled at that. This this is 2023 in the season, and the and the in the mid in the mid it's a mid season. It's 2023, and the fall just. It's got to start last week. And I mean, I, 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 I got to tell you what, Bob. They never have starters or soccer, but, but they do got a lot of soccer and starters. Kevin Dallison. Hicks. McLean. And then in the rest of the, and in the, rest of the roster, so soccer and ball. They are the bell team here. But they said it before. Like I said before, this is all everybody's dream. So now it's third down and nine now. Fourth down and nine. Seems like South Grandwood will bring out the punt team. Fourth down and the punt team. That's now fourth down South Grandwood. Bring the top bring the punt team. That's what you have to do. That's not gonna <coughs> I believe those those things are hack just hard South Grandwood's chances right now. Absolutely. Spartans take over once again at this time for the first time in the second half and it's just like I I tell you what, it's just like this. Spartans had the best season. They lost two game they lost four games. But they just won two. That's the, and uh, this is week seven. Week seven in the high school football, Friday Night Lights. That's the pass and the throw, and it's complete. Looks like he's going to run, and he's here on side the 40. 
He's still in the field until he, he did not stop until he's down. Well, we get cleared and that will be the spot in his first down. Sports down here. First down, Southern down. <coughs> Spot is on way hard. They're on foul right now. I gotta say. Last kid by number two. And the chains will move again. First down, Southern Durham. Southern Durham picks the first down. Let's chair by number 22. For a gain of about maybe six yards. Second down, Southern Durham. So second down, Southern Durham. And he's going to want it. Inside the 10, inside the 5. Down to about the 5 yard line. Onto the 5 long line. Which makes it first and goal, Southern Durham. So right now, it's first and goal. And it's gonna want it. Looks like. Ball is carried down to about the two Ball is carried line. down the two long line. And sock of it. Sutton Dawn had the touchdown. It's thirty two to zero. A in for a I can't even believe that, though. I mean, they're giving up a touchdown for South Granville. I mean, they're giving up a touchdown. Sutton Dunn is still pounding the ball, pounding the ball, and that's what happened. And that's what it is. I mean, I just... You know what's happening here? What's happening on the ball for South Granville right now? And this time... The player of Sutton Dawn is going to keep it, and the extra point is good for the two point conversion. And it is going to be a two point conversion for Sutton Dawn. The Spartans are 34 to 0. The last try was several plays, and that's the result of the Spartan touchdown. Vikings down by 34 points. They had no points on the ball for the Vikings right now. With 7-12 remaining here. And the ball is right now. It kicks all the way. And number 6 with that tackle. And Sanka will take over after being down, going through that on fourth down. <coughs> start on, I don't know what it was, start on the, wow.
طيب فوت زي ما Now start on October the dog by Gravel Viva. It's going to take on the dog school arts. It starts at home. And then on Thursday at 7 o'clock, start Gravel on the road to face Gravel Central on the final ball game. That starts at 7 o'clock on the NSSS Network. Hope you see me there. Second and five. An attack is made by Washington. Which makes it third down with about five yards to go. Third down, five lines to go here. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if they mark it, if it's forced down or not. <coughs> That's how the hard thing is now. That's fourth down and one, South Granville. Look like they're gonna go for it. like he's gonna go for it. it looks like he breaks loose and it's inside the 40 and it's a first down side grabber first down side grabber That's a show that, and I see that's in the show you how you can, how you can play this game if you, when you're down. That's a content. And, that's a one. Inside the 50. Here comes the wall once again. That it's on on him. At the down continue by the by the guy. And just a wait just a second. We got a player down on the field, right in front of us. So once again to our fans, the player is down on the field, and, you want advertisement. and we're gonna step aside and be right back. The score is now 34. Zero. Sock gravel is down. Thirty-four to zero. And uh, no, 
not not the way that South Carolina has started now. They still had the ball ball in the 50. And the flag is yeah, down. Might be a false start. Oh, it's on size on South Carolina. Purchase a 50 50 raffle ticket. We will have a drawing at the end of the third quarter. So make sure you get your tickets ready. Oh my goodness! Farmer is on the farmer is on the ground, and now Spartans had a touchdown, and and the big return and that's gonna hurt for soccer ever. And uh, and right now it was a complete disaster. That really messed up. Really messed up. Guys, the same the same thing over and over continues. If you look like you coming up in this game right now, you ain't just losing. <clears throat> that is just complete disaster. Absolutely it is a disaster. And now the Spartans are looking for the answer point. To put Unfortunately, it hit the post and it went and no good. Yeah, that's the point. That's the point. It's no good. And the score now in this game, the, the spot is at 40 to 0. With 152 remaining. 40 to 0. Spartans had a great lead. With six touchdowns in a six possession game. And the Vikings still had no score. Still had no points on the board. <coughs> and a kick is on the side of the door, and now we've got two flags on the field. Buttons looks like they were dancing on the sideline. I see them. It's 40 to 0. Second first down on the ball on the 151. Corner back, corner with that look at the troll. And he gets sacked. Oh my goodness, he gets sacked. Absolutely, and that's kind of a mark. <laughs> Offense money looked at, lost that focus at that time. I lost that focus at that time, and the quarterback was right there. But too late. He got sacked. Second down and 20. That's struggling here. No points on the ball left. If they don't have points on the ball, the game is over for them, but they still got another quarter to go with one on five left. And who gets down in time? And the injury on the play. 
Looks like it's that's gonna start the clock. Fifty one seconds left here in the game. The tackle has been made. And we're gonna take it and we're gonna set set aside with Dort and fifteen left to play. But Dort and fifteen to go. Forty to zeros. Sutton Nash with a great, great lead. I mean Sutton Dawn. I mean sorry, Sutton Dawn with a good lead. Cordy with that throw. Pass is incomplete. There is a flag on the play. What for the passer? It's against Sutton Dawn. <coughs> Next Friday night, Soccer Rebel will be on the wall once again against Vince County. Vince County 6 and 0. Looking to make it seven and zero. Seems like there was a flag down on the play. Flag is on the play. Which gives South Granville an automatic first down. Ball is on about the forty-nine yard line. And Cameron Dennison with the run. He's going to go for it. Pass by number one, but Thomas Hart. It's going to make it first down for, so for the soccer of the Vikings. Terrible. They had a good lead lead if they can end this shout out right now. If they can end this drought. Please remember get out your blue tickets to get the raffle is coming soon. They can end this point drought right now. And Kevin Demerson is going to keep it. They get lost hell. Tackle is made by number 43, Elijah Roberts. After a game of about maybe four yards, makes it second down and six. Tackle is made by Contreras. Time runs out here with the score, in the third quarter. Southern Durham 40. Headed to the fourth. The score is now 40 to zero. Get your blue tickets out. <coughs> well, I now start here in the fourth quarter with a score. Spartans 40, Vikings 0. And no points on the board yet. That's a hold, that's a hold. Can we get a hold? And. Can we get a hold? So once again. Meanwhile, behind the bar is starting down and it's a flag on the play. Four digits of your ticket. Again, the last four digits 6898. So it's first down coming up here, first and go. Right, it's first and ten right now.
and number 25 yeah There's an R. Uh, stop. Tackle is made by number five, Christopher Watson. Christopher Watson. To make it third down, maybe about four, 14 yards to go for the first. That's going to make it third down. And look out. And the bar. Looks like the bar is. The pass is incomplete. That pass was incomplete for sure. So now they're going to make a fourth down, and I think the Vikings going to kick the field goal. That going to put... Yeah, I think they're going to kick the field goal. Sarkin will get three, hopefully. Hope, I hope Sarkin will, will get three. It comes to kick and looks like it's, it looks like the the front can just score the shot out ends and it's now forty to three. A thirty yard field goal for Sun Gravel. And it's not that bad, not a bad kick. But the field goal and the field goal will be just fine. 40 to 3 to score with 10 to to go. Now, Sanko will right now is thinking about the onside kick. 10 12 to go. So, I believe they're going to have the onside kick to get the ball back, and it's just like this. Somehow, in some way. <coughs> The Spartans team is in it. I don't think they're going to catch it on how to onside catch. I thought it was an onside catch for sure. So now it's a, it's a first down Spartans. That's a draw. Looks like a nice draw.
Now this thing is just a little bit content because if you're in trouble, you gotta get this thing going up. It's, it's what it is when they make it, try to make a combat, but no, there is no combat. <coughs> no combat at all. Direction number 24. First down. <coughs> Tell you what, I can't believe it. I can't wait till the game. I can't wait for the game to start with. Oh boy. That is what it is. Now, last night in the NFL, Packers lost to the Detroit Lions 34 to 20. That was last night. And they brought they snapped the Packers home losing streak. Sunday, October the 4th at 1 o'clock, Panthers face the Vikings. That starts at 1 o'clock. Well, they are all in three now. I cannot believe it. The, the Panthers are all in three. Not, I mean, when I'm looking on the TV, I'm like, the Panthers are all with the Carolina Panthers. They were down all in three. Hopefully, they make it one three because. If I start watching the football games, I wish I could. I wish I could start watching football games. But now. Let's see what happens. And now the draw to. And as for that pass, he made that pass completely easy. How about the Cowboys? They face the Patriots on Sunday. 425. That would be a good game. That would be a good game for sure. Ball is handed up. up. Once again, that will be a not. That will be a first down. We're not. Can't lie, man. The Panthers, they need to get it together. Sure. What? Well, sure. Well, that's what sure, Jacques. That's what you have to do. You have to. You can't win them all. You can't win them all. Number eight, Joe McCoy. Number eight, Joe McCoy. Second down, Spartans. Second down for the Spartans. Number eight with the draw it is incomplete. Ball is 
You go on those, just know that the Colorado football team, Deion Sanders and the Colorado football team, take on the S USC USC Trojans that starts tomorrow night. We'll make sure that the time for the man as we had on the football players throw down the sets. As a nose, button test down. And the two point conversion is good. Which makes it Southern Durham 46, South Grand Ville 3. And if the game is right into the heck of the game, so right now, the Vikings are st still down 46 to 3. The score is now 48 to 3. Spartan is in control. Yeah, it was a good game. Yeah, it was a, a slow game, I suppose it was. They're putting the Vikings on ice right now. <clears throat> and that's the one. On the floor, he breaks tackles, and but then just down on the on my down car. Tomorrow at twelve, Colorado Buffalo. They don't stand as his team. Take on the USC Trojans. The Trojans are now four and zero, and they are number eight. Now we go to the North Carolina football team, and yeah, so I'm going to have one more in the games here, yeah, they are number 15, they are, you see Carolina right now, I mean, no count now. Football team. They had, uh, they are number 15 on the nation. And as you see, no count now. Santa Cruz are not rank. They had no sock. The Tar Heels football team had no loss. No loss this season. And the Duke football team, the Blue Dogs football team, they're 4 0. They're facing Notre Dame tomorrow night. That tackle is made again by number 47, Elijah Roberts. Tackle is made again by number 47. Thank you everyone for coming out tonight. Please make sure that you stay behind because our SSOS band will be on the field to perform after the game.
20 seconds left on the clock and number f and this time he's gonna go all the way inside the 20 inside the 10 the 15 and the flag is all over the place with that's gonna start the clock call the timeout or something and I think that's gonna do it time is runs out and the Spartans win 48 to 3. Soccer will go on to lose the game. 3 3. The Spartans have won the game 48 to 3. Soccer will go 3 3 at home on the road. That's Sutton Dawn's homecoming game. And they won it. 48 to 3. Our final score in this one. Next week, Sonic Gravel will be on the wall once again to face Vince County. Vince County. That starts next Friday night at 7 o'clock. With that, we say so on. Sundown.